Saudi man sentenced to death for tweets criticizing nation's leaders. Oh, this is crazy. In a move that underscores the tightening grip on freedom of expression in Saudi Arabia, 54-year-old Mohammed al-Ghamdi, a retired teacher, was sentenced to death simply for tweets critical of the nation's leaders. Using the platform X, previously known as Twitter, Mohammed discreetly voiced his dissent, mostly by retweeting critiques of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Yet, with just 10 followers between his two anonymous Twitter accounts, the global rights human community, excuse me, the global human rights community is in uproar deeming this an audacious travesty of justice. As executions in the kingdom surge, a darker narrative emerges. Muhammad's severe sentence might also be a retaliation against his brother's overseas activism. A stark reminder that in today's Saudi Arabia, even a tweet can be deadly. So, Armin, this is a huge story that happened over the past week. And I think, I mean, this is just overall just flat out shocking. Do you want me to provide any more details before we dive in? I mean, just a reminder, the guy I think had how many followers? On Twitter? He had he had two anonymous Twitter accounts. Between the two accounts, there were ten followers. Oh, to get wait together on the two accounts, he had ten followers. Yes. Okay. Right, not, we're not talking about ten thousand followers. Okay, we're talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten followers on two accounts together. He had ten followers. And for the tweets on one of these two accounts, uh, this guy is sentenced to death. Amazing. Amazing. Just a reminder for people who forgot how evil Saudi Arabia is just because they allow concerts now and how pe- women can drive and, you know, so people can drink alcohol and stuff. So, and they have Halloween, apparently. Halloween. So... Yeah, people think like, yeah, this is great. Everything is amazing in Saudi Arabia. No, they will execute you for tweets in Saudi Arabia. This is why we have to remind everybody that the freedoms that are that we want, the main freedoms that we want. So we have three kinds of freedoms, right? We have economic freedom, we have social freedoms, and we have political freedom. Mm-hmm. And with that political freedom... Even if you have economic freedom and social freedom, you don't actually have uh, economic freedom and social freedoms, right? So social freedoms are the kinds of freedoms that get, grab the more the most attention because they're media related, they're fun related, they're you know the, your freedom to wear what you want, to dance, to sing, uh, to party, to drink alcohol, and they get the most attention. Right. But they are these kinds of freedom are a house built upon sand if you don't have the political freedom, because without the political freedom, all other freedoms are not actual freedoms they are gifts that are coming from the top. You want to have your rights and freedom because the people have the power to take it from their leaders, not because of the leaders who have decided to gift it upon you, because the gift that it, that kind of freedom and that kind of right that is gifted from the top, it could be taken away from the top. It's not really, it's not really yours. You know, the freedom and rights that is really yours is the one that you have taken by force because the political fo- power of the people is stronger than the political power of their leaders. So the, you have to gain, poli- and this, this demonstrates that even if in Saudi Arabia, even if we now have social freedoms, we don't have the main freedom, which is the political freedom. And among all political freedoms, the main political freedom the, that all other political freedoms is built upon is, built upon is uh, the freedom of speech, right? So think about it like this, the hierarchy, right? So you have freedom of speech which with the freedom of speech, you gain all other political freedoms. And with your political freedoms, you gain all other rights and freedoms on top of that. And you don't have that in Saudi Arabia. So you don't really have any freedom. You know, it's when you have, when you don't have the freedom of speech, if you think you're free to go to to watch a concert or to drink alcohol or to drive a car, it's more, it's more like a, uh, somebody who has kidnapped, somebody who has been kidnapped or lives in a prison and, before they had like the cafeteria now has more food choices 
you're still in prison. You're still a hostage, but now you have more food uh, food options to eat while you're in prison. You're not really free. It's it's fake freedom. So just just understand that that that's what we're fighting for. But mm-hmm. also, mm-hmm. so this guy's the the crime that they are using the uh, using to uh, sentence this guy to death that they they're alleging that this guy is responsible for is because of him criticizing the leaders, but also some religion related uh, views that he had on his Twitter. Right? Like, what were those? So like, my understanding is that his brother who lives overseas is some sort of Islamic cleric in exile. I don't know exactly. Go ahead. No, no, no. That's a real reason. Okay. But the fake reasons are two fake reasons. You know, the fake reasons are his tweets. One for criticism of the leaders, two from him saying things that are questioning Islamic views. Right. Those are the fake reasons. But that's, but that's, that, that's, that given that he only has 10 followers combined on his two Twitter accounts, that's not the real reason why they're arresting him. They're punishing his brother. Right. Yeah. It seems like it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can, I can read out his, his charges. So his conviction is okay. Under article 30 of Saudi Arabia's counterterrorism law for quote, describing the King or the crown prince in a way that undermines religion or justice Article 34 for, quote, supporting a terrorist ideology and Article 43 for communications with a terrorist entity and Article 44 for publishing fake news with the intention of executing a terrorist crime. Okay. By the way, I just noticed that we were in, um, Newman mentioned that we were on live on Twitch. I just made it so that we're live on Twitch as well. Thank you so much, Newman, for letting me know. Yeah. Okay. No, that's okay. That's okay. Um, okay, yeah. So, by the way, if the, if this is true, if they're going after this guy to punish his brother, just imagine how evil the Saudi regime is. The fact that this guy is being punished as a way to punish the brother. Like, they, they, they punish you, they sentence you to death for the crimes of the peop- somebody in your family. That is like, that is pure evil. Is that not pure evil? Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the thing. Like, this man is not a prominent figure. He's like a teacher. No. Yeah. He's like a, a teacher, a retired teacher. Th- this person is like threat. nobody. And so um, the Saudi activist in exile, Lena al she she was asked for a comment on this case, and she said, quote, they are sending a clear and sinister message that no one is safe, and even a tweet can get you killed. Yeah, they're sending a message that if we can't reach you because you've left Saudi Arabia, don't think we can't reach you. You still have family back here. So you better watch your, even if you're in a free country, are you really free if you if your loved ones are at our exposal? You know, if we could do what we want to your loved ones. So we will, you know, we, are, we have reach everywhere. As long as, unless you bring your entire family and everybody. And even if you bring your family to these Western countries, your family still has family in, like, <laughs> yeah, and friends still in Saudi Arabia. So you're never free. You're never free. Yeah. The Islamic okay. Republic of Iran also uses tactics like this. It's horrible. Yeah, exactly. It's disgusting. Um, Gajan American just used his membership. 20 months, been a member for 20 months, saying oh my heathens God. of the world unite. Yeah, that's great. Guys, Almost again, two years remember, of membership. Yes, guys, you could become members. Use the membership option right next to the subscribe button. Yes, it is a great comments. way of supporting the show, and you get the coolest emojis. Speaking oh, of, we yeah, have an announcement to... about that later, so stay tuned. Yeah. Shh. And <laughs> members get special attention in the live chat. Um, yeah. And this was just some sweet comments that, that I liked. Oh, wait, no, first let's keep it on uh, topic. So Shami has a good point. He's saying, I just find it insane how a murderer in my country, in the UK, would face less consequences than a man who simply made a tweet people did not like. Insanity. No, that's a good way of looking at it. Exactly. It is really mind-boggling when you have that contrast. We had a we covered a story of a woman, a doctor, right? She mm-hmm. uh, she got how many years?
years in prison for retweeting. So this guy, at least he tweeted something. She got, I think she got like 20 something years, 24. Oh, no, no, no. It's, there was one that started out at 45 and it was dropped down to 34. 34. Years of she imprisonment. Got thir- she's still in prison right now as we speak. Yeah, she this got- only happened this year. <laughs> yeah. And she has, yeah, she has 33 more years to go. Not because of anything she tweeted. A doctor in Saudi Arabia for a retweet. It's and insane. this is all Twitter activity that happened mostly when she was overseas. The Twitter activity right. happened when she was out of the country. Yeah. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Yeah. All right. And somebody saying, what did she retweet? It wasn't even that... It was something critical of, I don't even remember. It was it, so I don't small. Even, I, I don't even know how critical it was. I just know that it yeah. was generally from some activists that who have a history of being critical. Mm, so the tweet itself was not even that critical. It was just the person that was I don't that know. I don't tweet. know how critical yeah. it was. I just know that it came yeah. from figures that were critical. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. So... You had to, some other comments you wanted to highlight? Oh, yeah. This was just nice because I do like the kind words. It does yeah. keep us going. Sandy is saying, I like your content. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. And John is saying, you guys are so very amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for supporting the show. Thank you to our community that makes this possible. Um, yeah, it does. it does make a huge difference. Do you know who makes the most amazing, gorgeous, and other adjectives that I can't use here on YouTube blasphemous art ever? We do. And for some reason, we are giving it away for free. Download them now using the link in the description before we change our mind.